Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five. Here we go. The title of today's message is Close to the Zero Hour. Amen. And that's the text. It will be taken from Romans the 13th chapter, verses 11 and 12 from the King James Version. And it reads, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Amen. This is the last Sunday of 2018. In a few days, we will be in the year 2019. Mm -hmm. This is a time when we should all reflect back on the year 2018 and make the necessary changes we need to make before we go into a new year. There are some things we need to leave in 2018 and get ready to go higher in the Lord. Amen. We want to make good use of the time that God has given to us. God has given us a set time to live on this earth to fulfill His plan and His purpose for our lives. Mm -hmm. We want to fulfill His plan and purpose while we still have time because we don't know when our time is up. We want to be sensitive to the time and know that time is running out. Mm -hmm. As our text says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. We are close yes. to the zero hour. Yes. There are those today who are insensitive about the days we are living in, and they don't seem to care about Jesus' return. They are caught up only in today's business of survival, their jobs, their circumstances, their busy schedules, the temporary, this temporary life, the pressures and pleasures of this world. Their focus of attention is on themselves. Mm -hmm. The thought of Jesus' return is the last thing they want to think about. Mm -hmm. These people think that all is well and they are sleeping mm -hmm. on a pillow of false security. Mm -hmm. They are insensitive to the time they don't realize that time is winding up. Mm -hmm. If that's you today, it's time to wake up and learn how to tell time by God's clock. Mm -hmm. In Mark the 14th chapter, we see that Jesus had taken the disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane in order to pray. In verse 32, Jesus said to the disciples, sit here while I pray. Mm -hmm. Jesus began to pray, but when he returned to check on the disciples, they were sleeping. Simon, Jesus said, are you sleeping? Could you not watch one hour? Jesus asked the disciples to pray, but instead they slept. Mm -hmm. They went to sleep instead of staying awake to mm -hmm. pray. Mm -hmm. And we have to be careful about this too. Mm -hmm. Prayer is our way mm -hmm. of staying Thank awake, Jesus. spiritually speaking. Mm -hmm. If we are not praying, we will be insensitive to the time, mm -hmm. insensitive mm -hmm. to the voice of God insensitive Jesus. to the word of God. We will be ignorant of Satan's devices, his plans, his schemes, his tricks. Prayer is our way of staying awake spiritually. We get strength from the Lord and we wait in mm. his presence. Yes, the psalmist Jesus. said in Psalm 27 14, wait on the Jesus. Lord. Mm -hmm. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Mm -hmm. Wait I say on the Lord. Yes. And we get direction from him as we wait in his presence. Mm -hmm. But if we are not praying, we will not experience daily victory in our lives and we will be living beneath Jesus. our privileges. It's no time to fall asleep. No time to be insistent. No time to waste. No time to be distracted. No time to lose your focus. No time to focus on your circumstances. No time to focus on other people. No time to focus on that relationship. No time to focus on your past. No time to focus on yes, yourself. Jesus. No matter what you're going through. There's a new day dawning. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We're close to the zero yes, hour. Lord. Time is running out. The coming of the Lord draws nigh. The return of Jesus is our blessed hope. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.